Hello everyone, I hope you're having a magical day today. Today we are at the Audie Murphy Museum, Cotton Museum as well. So we're going to go in and check it out. So the museum is divided into three parts. The first part over here is early history. The middle part is the cotton and over there is the military. So we're going to go into the early years. Settlers of the 19th century. Monty Stratton, White Sox pitcher. I'm not a big baseball fan, but I do go for the Texas Rangers. But that's cool that they have signed baseballs by them. This wall is about public schools. Greenville High School. So if I didn't say this earlier, we are in Greenville, Texas. And that's about 45 minutes west. Sorry, east of Fort Worth to Air Dallas area. Third grade, first grade, second grade, fourth, fifth, seventh, and eighth grade. And this is what each grade has to do in writing. Or like first and second says with your partner, use addition and subtraction cards to practice max facts. Oh wow, that's a weird looking safe. Never seen a round safe like that before. You have Reese Dave Davis, middleweight boxing champion. Look at this old car, unfortunately, I don't know what it is. Let's see, Cadillac on loan, courtesy of David Jis Jr. Restored by David Jis Sr. Hmm, so that's a Cadillac.
get into the cotton section now. After the Civil War recovery on the southern economy depending on getting freedom back into cotton fields. However, most of the former slaves were simply not ready to manage their own farms. Hmm. And I was reading that from here and it goes on. So we did the Cotton Gin in Burton, Texas. And I'll put the description or the link in the description below. But this is just like that Cotton Gin. And look, they even show the number. They even show the number and we learned about that in that video too. This is Conventional Gin Company. And we saw the blades, how they worked that. But this is Pratt Gin Stand uh, from Alabama. The model was uh, patented in December 1926. The gin stand is a heart of the gin plant. It is a seed cotton yeah, as the seed cotton rotates in the sleeve roll, it is ag agitated by a cylinder to ensure all lint is removed. And that's what we had seen in that other video. So if you want to go check that out, the little bells of cotton. So here, like this number five here, would be where Hunt County is located in Texas. Hunt County, one of the Texas 254 counties, was formed from the districts of Fannin and Nacogdoches at the first meeting of the Texas State Legislature at its new capital in Austin in 1846. It was named for General McCum Hunt who had been instrumental in Washington, D.C. in beginning the state of Texas into the Union. Hmm. So you have a whole lot of facts. Wow, this is, this is just interesting. And again, you can see the, the cotton gin and the press machine. This is interesting since we had went to that one. This is where they suck up the cotton at and it goes up through that tubing. Wow. And then these are the gins here. Electrical control from Greenville Power Plant in 1909. This is a drill press. From Greensville first power plant prior to 1898. This is Cotton Broker's Office. And this big machine here, I don't know what it is, let's find out. Steam engine used in the Greenville, Texas cotton compress. Look at that big belt. That's crazy. So this is horsepower gin model. Look at the horses over there powering that one machine. 
So this was back in 1973 or 1793, if I can actually read. This is how they would do it. It's an organ. And here's a gas pump, old gas pump. We have the model train here. It's a big model train. So here's some of the plowing tools that they would use. This one right here is a corn planter. This, we learned this in the Dr. Pepper Museum. I'll link that one down below. It's a doctor's buggy. So this is me actually seeing so many things over and over again, how different places use the same thing. This is a weaving wool, or a spinning wheel, sorry, to make the quilts and all. So now we're going to go into the Hall of Heroes. And we're going to go into the, this Audie Murphy where you can sit down and watch the video. In the spring of 1941, Audie's mother became seriously ill with a heart ailment. On May 23rd, with Audie at her bedside, Josie Bell Murphy passed from this life. And for the rest of Audie's life, no other woman was able to live up to the ideal his mother represented. After his mother's death, Audie became even more determined to have a career as a soldier. A desire he had expressed early in life, inspired by the stories told to the Murphy children by their mother's two brothers, who had seen action in France during World War I. His early attempts to enlist in the armed forces were hindered by his boyish looks and small stature. Audie stood only five feet five inches and weighed no more than 110 pounds. Audie finally was able to enlist in the Army at the Greenville U.S. Post Office about the time of his 18th birthday but only after producing a notarized affidavit from his sister confirming his age. So here's some quotes from different people. Texans in battle in the Civil War, over 70,000 Texans served. Texas regiments fought in every major battle throughout the war. World War I, 198,000 Texans saw service in the forces. 450 Texas women served as nurses one nurse and 500 or 5,170 5, Texans died in the armed services. World War II, although Texas had 5% of the U.S. population, it provided 7% of those who served. 750,000 Texans, including 12,000 women, served in the armed forces. During the war, 22,022 Texans were killed or died of wounds. Korea, 289,000 Texans served. Over 1,700 were either killed in action missing or missing in action. Vietnam, more than 50,000 Texans served. 3,415 3, Texans died in Southeast Asia. Thank you for all who served. I appreciate your service. So, in that video, I learned a little bit more about Audi. I didn't know some of these things. So, Audi was in the wars, as we know, and he was the most decorated person of that time of any American uh, it didn't say uh, if he still is or not 
but that was pretty cool. And then he became a film actor and he was in 27 different films after he got out of the army. And then he even became a country western singer. So he was pretty cool dude here. He even gave away his, some of his medals. Look at this. This is a Max, Maxim 8 MG08. Germany adopted this gun at the turn of the 20th century. Well, that's weird looking. They said they don't know what happened to the originals, except that they know that some of him, some of them, he gave away. So here's all the medals that he had. That is a lot of medals. And he was born in June 20th, 1924. Hey look, San Antonio newspaper. Look, San Antonio, Texas. I like the, all the artifacts that museums have because like that's an old camera right there. I love cameras. Pre-World War II camera made in for the German Luftwaffe for use in aerial photography. Hmm.
Wall of Heroes is an ongoing project. If a member of your family or someone you know is currently in the military and lives or lived in Hunt County, please let us know so that we may add them to our Wall of Heroes. We prefer photographs no larger than 8x10 and will return them if you wish. So again, thank you to all these people and everyone who has served in our military.